Good evening. A 24-year-old man is in custody after RCMP say someone went on a rampage through a Port Alberni neighborhood. Ten vehicles were broken into, two of them torched, and a shed was lit on fire, all in a span of about 45 minutes. A news reporter Brent Shearer has been following the story. He joins us with more now from Nanaimo. Brent? Eric, a Port Alberni neighborhood woke to the sounds of police sirens and burning cars this morning after a local man in his mid-20s allegedly went on a costly crime spree. It looks and smells like a war zone. Yeah. You know. This is not something you would normally see in this quiet Port Alberni neighborhood. Well, it's still pretty much in shock. Everybody is all up and down the street. That's because 10 vehicles were broken into this morning and for some reason... Just look at, look at it for yourself there. They Two were torched. We think it's uh, just a real shame and now we're going to be out of vehicle and we need it for our farmer's market. So that's going to be tough. Jeanette Carnell woke up to the sound of the burning van early this morning. It's scary. I don't like fires. <laughs> Neither does Johnny Wong, who raced home from work to find his boat shed a smoldering mess. Personal property, it's, it's devastating. You know, I'm just happy that uh, everybody's okay. Police got the call about the burning van at about 4.45 this morning. While they were investigating, they received a tip about someone trying to break into a vehicle a few streets over. Soon after, they arrested a 24-year-old Port Alberni man whose name is not being released. Well, certainly uh, we're hoping to uh, recommend charges of uh, arson and uh, theft from vehicle. All the papers from the glove compartment still on the floor. Police say several of the vehicles involved were easy targets because they were unlocked. I think I'll be locking my vehicle at nighttime and making sure that everything's safe and sound. It didn't take long to cause all of this damage. Police estimate from the start of the rampage to the finish would have been only about 45 minutes. The costs are still being added up. It would be in the tens of thousands, uh, given that there was two vehicles destroyed by the fire, as well as a uh, shed uh, structure at the rear of a property and uh, the surrounding area and fences. So uh, we're talking into an excess of $30,000. Police say the 24-year-old they have in custody is known to them. And while police have one person in custody, they think there may have been someone else involved in all of this. Anyone with information on what happened is being asked to contact Port Alberni RCMP at 250-724-2424. Eric? Brent Shearer reporting. Brent, thank you. Thank you.